Shaggy asks Fred about the mother, but he says that he doesn't know anything when another prisoner comes up to him and says, You're wasting your time, buddy. Romantic relationships between old friends rarely work out. And what is Shaggy's reaction to some legitimate advice? That's not true! Ah! Have some self-respect! Shaggy gets a black eye and asks his dad for advice. He says that all he needs is a cardigan to make people feel comfortable enough to confess to him. Now this show makes fun of Shaggy's dad every chance it gets, but he ends up giving the correct advice whenever he is asked. Shaggy returns to the prison with a cardigan and now is able to get Fred to confess. He first says that his dad stood him up and then says he saw Velma's mother. What was she doing there? I don't know. My dad told me never to pay attention to women over 35. That's good advice! We cut back to the school and a shit fight tournament is happening, which is boring all the way up to the finals where Daphne and Velma meet. Before they fight each other, they meet in the girls' restroom and Daphne says that she does not want to go out with Velma because dating a cave troll would hurt her popularity. Before they fight, Daphne's lesbian mother mentions Velma's social media account. And with a social media reach up, she says she's too good for it. No, Velma, it's because you're a big fat loser who couldn't even get one person to follow her. So because Velma was rejected by Daphne, she reads out her diary in front of everybody at the school in the hopes of making her look like she is mentally unstable. You are a stupid. Has Velma forgotten that's the whole reason TikTok exists? It's for women to pretend that they have a mental illness that they use for attention. It's the whole reason why it was made. This plan of yours would only make Daphne more popular, not less, you retard. So Velma's plan doesn't work and she is sent to the therapist office because she needs to apologize for stealing Daphne's diary. I have to apologize? She kicked me so hard my tubes are now tied. Believe me, Velma, they were never going to be used anyway. Shaggy's dad yet again gives decent advice in wanting Velma to open up more, but her response is... Huh. Okay, that feels smart, but it's coming from you, so... You're a cunt. You're a cunt. Later on, we see Shaggy driving Velma around town yet again, because that is all he does, and he tells her that Fred had nothing to do with her mother's disappearance and Fred is innocent. Isn't it a little comforting to see a rich white guy get wrongly convicted for once? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. No, Shaggy, you dumb fuck. Why would anybody being falsely imprisoned be comforting for you? Unless you're a complete fucking psychopath. So Velma and Shaggy know for a fact that Fred is innocent and the killer is still out there. So what do they do next? Well, Shaggy takes Velma to Daphne's house because rather than trying to prove Fred's innocence and get him out of jail, she would rather waste more time with her stupid fucking gay relationship with Daphne. Velma tells Shaggy to wait for her. Wait for me, okay? Unless you feel like getting me a snow cone and immediately coming back. We have seen several scenes of Shaggy being an embarrassment to men everywhere and should never be considered one. Velma and Daphne get into a boring conversation where they kiss and make up, but Velma says this. But I'm also, kill me, super attracted to Fred. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Now, why is it that Velma takes every opportunity to insult Fred and won't help him get out of prison and yet still wants to fuck him even though she has both Shaggy and Daphne to use? Maybe it's because deep down Mindy, sorry Velma, only sees Fred as having any value. Shaggy has to leave her behind because he forgot his appointment at the prison and of course Velma is annoyed by this. Now I have to walk. I have literally never been madder. You may be asking, why did she make Shaggy wait even though she lives next door? Well, she has done this for one simple reason, and that is because she is a vampire who must suck out any and all male energy from him until he is nothing more than a hollow husk of what we used to call a man. 